Well, we took a trip over the weekend with the excursion, pulled about 400 miles, uh, pulled a small camper, and there's a few things that we're gonna have to do to uh, make this throttle body work a little bit better in this truck. So the first thing you can see is I've stretched out some of the coils in the middle of the return spring here. The return spring that comes with the AccuFab is either um, overpowered compared to the stock spring, or maybe my original one was just worn out. But I found that driving on the road, um, my foot actually got cramped up. My cruise control was having some problems. So I was having to uh, use my foot the whole way and uh, it was just really difficult. It was um, really hard to keep that pedal pushed down. I know that sounds kind of stupid. But anyway, so uh, I stretched the spring out just a hair. The other problem that we're gonna have to address is the extra slack in the cable. So if you saw the first video, you saw that there was a lot of slack in the cable there. And it did end up uh, causing a problem actually. So let me show you down in here. So here's the accelerator pedal and right there, let's see, yeah, right about there, it's already touching the floor. So right up here somewhere maybe is where it should be and it is all the way down to the bottom. So I was just having to mash the crap out of that thing and I'll show you what we're going to do. So up inside there, you can see the end of the, of the throttle cable. One thing I guess you could do is maybe replace the cable with a shorter one. But something that I've done in the past when cables get stretched is um, we're just going to add zip ties to this section right here. So you can just kind of pick where you want it to be at and then we're going to stack zip ties right in here to kind of take up that slack. That way the pedal can be out where it needs to. And I really doubt we were even getting full throttle with this thing because there's no way I could get it to the floor. So um, I don't have a tripod that'll show up in there, but let me get these zip ties done and then I'll show you what it should look like. Okay, so I've got the zip ties stacked up on there as you can see. It's a little bit hokey, um, but it works. So I'll probably come up with something else later on, either a shorter cable, uh, once I actually look up the specs of what everything is supposed to be. Or I'll come up with a better spacer system, like maybe a little piece of uh, crimpable uh, metal or something on there. But now, this thing is right where it needs to be, and it uh, feels a whole lot better. So we're going to go with this for now.